Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play series, this time for Project Zomboid. Now Zomboid is still in early access, but uh, it's been in early access for a while. I've played it uh, many, many months ago, so it's been a while since I've been back to it. There's been lots of updates, and lots of new stuff, so it's almost as if I'm playing it for the first time, kind of in a way. If you're not familiar with Project Zomboid, it's a really intense um, zombie survival game, but it's it's really unique and much different than other ones in its own little ways. Um, let's let's just hop into it. Okay, no, I don't want the tutorial. Okay, so um, let's go with well, let's go with first bite actually, because I don't know what kind of new stuff is going on. Um, let's see, we want a new world. And we'll go with Moldrog, Kentucky. I guess that's how you say it. I don't know. I apologize if this is a real place. It probably is. And people are like, Dustin, how do you pronounce it? I'm sorry. All right, so our name is going to be Odin... Odinson. All right. And our sweater is not going to be pink. It's going to be black. Everything else I don't really care, but let's go with uh, let's go with the chops. Okay, now here's where you can choose your traits, and the thing about the traits is they they have if you choose them they have to even out. There's negative ones and positive ones, and in order to to choose them, you know you have to have it evened out. Now me, I like to hunker down and stay in one place, so I think I'm going to go either with construction worker or carpenter. Let's see. Because it gives us fitness, strength, carpentry, blunt accuracy. Let's go with construction marker. Um, so you see we have negative two. So we have to take a, a plus two here to even everything out. Um, let's go with... All of these suck. Let's go with it takes longer to read books. See, now our points have spin to zero. Now we can go. These are the end times. There was no hope of survival. This is how you died. So you know from the very beginning of the game that you're screwed, which is something I enjoy. There's no illusion. This is how you died. There's a recognition of mortality. It's very important. All right, so we'll be put in a random house here in the beginning. The objective, of course, is to simply stay alive. Um, get rid of this survival guide. Okay, and this is kind of, this has just our skills and our health. Now, we can actually get to this, I think, by clicking this, right? Yeah, all right. Okay, so, so we got, you know, some zombies outside. Our first order of business is going to be explore this place, see what kind of stuff we can find. Now, this is a very small house. I don't want this to be my headquarters. I mean, it's not even a house. It's like a one-room efficiency. That doesn't make any sense. All right. So, nails. We want nails. So, we're going to put that here. We've got the keys. This is a new thing, as I understand it. we got the keys to this particular house. I think each house now has a set of keys. And it's usually on a zombie that's inside the house. Okay, uh, we definitely want that canned corned beef. And I think I will take the can opener too. Nothing on the ground there. Right over here. Now one of the things that's always important is storing water because unless this has changed since the older versions, eventually the water will go out. The utilities will shut down. Um, so you want to get all the water you can now. So you want to fill different items. Like, I can fill this bowl with water at the sink. Actually, let's take these beans real quick. Right, actually, I just opened that window. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I want to use the sink. How do I use the sink? I just saw some nails. Hold on. Uh, grab all the nails. As you can see, we've got six pounds of 12 used up in our inventory right now. 
Okay, yeah, so we right click on the sink and we can do fill bowl. So now that bowl is full of water, and it, once I find a place to hunker down and I'll store that bowl, like in cabinets and stuff, and I want. And there's other things you want to find, like water bottles, uh, stuff like that, just so you can have water to take with you. Newspaper, sometimes you get bored, you got to stick inside, you have to stay inside for a long time, and reading will help you pass the time without kind of losing your mind. But I'm not too interested in that. Alright, and again, I don't want to hunker down here, so I'm not going to try to, like, cover the windows with sheets, you know, or anything like that. Alright, let's see what all... So we do have a water bottle right now. There is water in it. We also have a backpack with some simple weapons. Let's go with the baseball bat for now. Equip it in both hands, because we're going to move to another location. And we'll probably have to whack some zombies. Uh, yeah. Alright, so let us open this door. Now, you don't want to run unless you really have to, because it generates more noise and draws the zombies. Let me zoom out. Let me try... I want to try and find some... Oh, there's a lot of zombies over there. I want to try and find some supplies. So let's go to this house. And again, I'm just walking slowly. There's no broken windows. That's a good sign. Uh-oh, what happened? Slight panic. Why did I panic? I don't know. But I'm hot. Unpleasantly hot. What is that sound? I mean, it's obviously a zombie. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to take our sweater off. And that should help get rid of the heat problem relatively soon. Um, so I'm guessing this door is locked. No, it's not. Oh, shit! Alright, so you hold the right mouse button to kind of prepare your attack, and then you left-click to do it. When they're on the ground, they're not dead. You need to bash them, but for some reason I missed. I'm doing really poorly. There we go. So once the blood goes flying, that's when you know you're alright. So I've got minor bleeding, so I'm going to need to find something to tear up and make some bandages. What was that sound? Is there another zombie in here? Yeah, there is. Well, that was a good hit. There we go. That's good stuff. Alright, so let's check and make sure... That Nope, I was going to say, let's make sure this place is empty. It's not. As you can see, they came through that window there. Alright, so I'm panicked. I'm in a little bit of pain. I definitely need some bandages. Uh, we can't do anything with that right now. Here's the key to this house. Ah, there we go. Let's rip this blouse up. Alright, so we got ripped sheets. So let's apply a bandage to our right upper arm. But we've also got minor injuries that needs first aid. That's not good. So the bandages are not going to cut it. Right now. Let's see what else we've got here. Oh, look at all this food! Bottle with Remulade. I don't know what Remulade is, but... Oh, I didn't mean to grab everything at once. Okay, cooking pot that's good for holding water. Grab one of those. Ooh, garbage bag. Can probably hold more than the backpack, so I'm gonna want that. Let's see. Backpack holds 15, garbage bag holds 20. So we're gonna equip this as our secondary. So now we've got lots of extra things that we can. Like, for example, we could take the bowl of water move it over there. You know, it reduces the weight in this particular bag. That kind of stuff. Uh, there's some more sheets. Okay. Just check over here. Butter knife is actually a decent weapon, but you got to get really close to the zombies to use it. So it's kind of a risk. Look at all this damn canned food, man. Definitely grab some of that. Um, and some wire. 
might come in handy in the future for crafting and stuff. Um, yeah, that should be alright. Now, let me see what's going on here. Skills, not there yet. I do have the bandage on, so that's good. I think that's everything we need from here. I'm going to go ahead and eat. I'm going to open this with my can opener. Open can of beans. We're going to just eat. I don't think it's going to help my injury situation at all, but I just want to eat that. So we are well fed. So we have a healing and strength boost. And that's kind of what I'm looking for. Alright. So let's equip the baseball bat again. Oh, it's actually in bad shape. Can we repair it? And we don't have enough stuff for it. Alright, so we're going to want to avoid zombies at all costs now. Because I don't want to fight them with this bat. Because the bat's going to break. Alright, again, you know, we could sprint like this, but it's very loud. I think what I want to do is move towards this area, find a bigger location. All these houses are too damn small. They're all single story. I need something. I think, yeah, we've got bigger, better houses over here. And we can jump the fence, or we used to be able to. That's not the right. Uh... I don't remember how to jump the fence, damn it! Yeah, that's pathetic. Alright, so we're not going to jump the fence, because I don't remember how to do it right now. I'll have to check into that. Oh, now this is what I'm talking about. Let's take a quick look around, see if there's broken windows. See some blood in there. Whoa, lots of zombies. One of them saw me. I'm really glad to see these doors aren't locked. Alright, so, nah, this place is too small. But, you know, what you want to do eventually is, once you find a place that you like, if it doesn't have curtains, you make curtains out of sheets and you cover the windows. Like, if we close these curtains, if the zombies can't see us, they won't be aggressive. Now, like, this window doesn't have curtains, so I could make some, basically. But I'm not going to, right now. Ooh, love that lettuce. Let me eat that lettuce real quick. All right, so we're well fed again. Butter knife again. Fork, can opener, and stuff. Let's check here. Another bowl. A plastic bag is good to carry stuff, but not the biggest deal right now. All right, so let's grab that. Now, is there no? S yeah, here's the sink. Let's fill our water bottle. Let's fill the cooking pot we picked up. We're going to have to move that probably to a different bag. So now we have this pot of water. Hey, where the hell did my bag go? My garbage bag. It's unequipped for some reason. Oh, because I equipped the bat. Oh, that's right. Okay, that's alright. We've got plenty of room here right now. What the hell was that sound? You bastards. What was that sound? I don't know. Alright. So let's move... Um, let's put the pot of water in the backpack, even though that doesn't make any sense. Keep the water bottle here. Man, everything's like in bad shape. My pants. My everything. Alright, so that'll do for now. Um, uh, alright. So we'll go ahead and end this episode right here while we're cowering in this house. Well, actually, let me let me check upstairs first. That might be a good idea, because there could be a zombie up here, because I hear things. It's very dark. I don't see a light switch. There's someone bumping around in here. There's definitely someone bumping around in here, but I don't know where they are. I can hear them, and it's driving me nuts. Uh, where are the doors? This door here, and there's a door here. Alright, yeah. We'll go ahead and end this episode while cowering in this particular room.
by these bunk beds. Yeah. And then when we come back in our next episode, we'll explore those other closed doors, and I'm pretty sure we'll find a zombie in there. But I'd like to thank you for joining me. If you dig Project Zomboid, please hit that like button so I know. And we'll be back soon with some more Project Zomboid.